Audio is the most neglected, yet arguably most important part of a good video. This can be counterintuitive because video is such a visual medium. But think about it. If you were to mute a television show, it's unwatchable. If you were to close your eyes and listen, you'd still be able to loosely follow the story. Take radio. When you listen to NPR, you're essentially listening to a movie without any visuals. From WBEZ Chicago, it's This American Life. I'm Ira Glass. Stay with us. Audio is the one part of video that you have to get right. It doesn't matter how good your visuals are or how interesting your interview subject is. If people cannot make out what your subject is saying, then your video is useless. The bad news is that the first time filmmaker sucks at audio. The good news is that audio is fairly easy to get right. First and foremost, we need to acknowledge that video cameras are bad at capturing audio. Even the best video camera in the world is about on par with your iPhone when it comes to capturing audio. Video cameras simply are not designed to be good at capturing audio. Video cameras are made to capture video. Now, why do cameras suck so bad at capturing audio? One magical word, distance. You can only capture good sound if your microphone is close to your subject's mouth. I mean super close, like less than a foot from their mouth kind of close. Video cameras tend to be at least four feet from most interview subjects. Now you can get your camera super close to your subject and the sound will be good, but then the image will be too close up. So how do you capture good audio if your camera has to be at least a couple feet away from your subject? External microphones. An external microphone is any microphone that is not built into your camera. The most common external microphone I use when interviewing people is a lapel microphone. Lapel microphones plug directly into your camera. Listen to the difference in audio quality between using my camera's built-in microphone versus the lapel microphone. I can show you a world, take you wonder by wonder. I can show you a world, take you wonder by wonder. Note. Not all cameras have a microphone input. This is a little hole in a camera that allows you to plug your microphone into it. When you're picking a camera to use, I encourage you to buy a camera with a microphone input. All smartphones have a microphone input. It's the same hole you use to put your headphones in. This is the lapel microphone I use. It costs about $15 on Amazon. Buying a lapel microphone is the single best purchase you can make to improve the quality of your videos. If you don't have a lapel microphone for capturing sound, you're going to have to use your video camera to capture the sound. I strongly encourage you not to do this, but if you absolutely have to, get your camera really close to the speaker and have them speak loudly. They don't need to yell, but they should raise their voice by about 30% louder than normal. Just as important as the type of microphone you use is where you decide to conduct your interview. If you interview your subject someplace loud, you're screwed. Interviewing people outside is almost always a disaster. You're competing with wind, cars, birds, and if you're in San Francisco, screaming homeless people. Always find a quiet place to interview your subjects.